What up my amazing audience, my name is Tricky Acid and in this video I'll be showing you all how to obtain a unique weapon known as the Headman's Axe. It is quite possibly the largest axe throughout the whole of Skyrim. Um, so saying as PC and PlayStation gamers also have the Dragonborn DLC, this is a great video to watch for all platforms now. Serana has been kitted out with the Ancient Nordic Armor. Whereas I am wearing the Asdal armor. I did do a video demonstrating how to obtain this armor. It is just exactly the same appearance wise but more powerful than what Saran is wearing currently. Um, I put up on the annotation so be sure to check that if you're interested in obtaining um, the Asdal armor. But anyways, um, pretty much going to show you guys how to obtain the super humongous unique weapon. Known as the double handed headman's axe. I don't really use um, dual handed weapons most of the time, but it was pretty cool, so I decided to grab it. But anyways, you got to travel to the top left hand side of the map to Solitude. Once you're at Solitude, there is a executioner known as Atar. He is the only route to obtaining that headman's axe. Beautiful. We have I'm reached sure our destination. Window, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Yeah, neither did I, Serana. But anyways, we've reached the lovely solitude. What a beautiful place this is. And Atar is famously known for executing a certain civilian right over here, where some guy got beheaded when the first time you actually enter solitude. Not now. Now, Atar can either be roaming around the streets of solitude, or he will be in the castle in the dungeon area. However, he can also be in Jala's house. Now, you can either find him by roaming around or go to the dungeons, but I really don't recommend that. Personally, okay, <laughs> Saran has seen some, en seen some enemies. Personally, I prefer just waiting around and just going to Jala's house. Jala's house isn't too far, actually. It's just right over here. And that's where he sleeps. So, my personal preference would be to press back and just wait until maybe 10 p.m. so it's 5 p.m. now 6 sorry 6 7 8 9 10 so just wait until 10 p.m. and then go to the house because that's where he sleeps so that is the easiest way to find him so instead of you roaming around solitude thinking where the hell are you or in that dungeon which for me just seems like a little how do I say this a maze trying to find him because I don't like it. I just don't like the dungeon. But he wouldn't tell me why not. It's because he's dead, little kid. But anyways, from the entrance, you just gotta go straight ahead to Jala's house. Take a left from here. And take a right. And then you see Blue Palace is right in front of you, right there. And all you have to do is just take a right here and voila! You have Jala's house, and in Jala's house will be Atar. Now, to grab this, the actual axe off Atar, you can either do two things. You can kill him, which is the most easiest option. Or you can do a mission for him where you have to eliminate some bandits. I already eliminated some bandits um, quite a while back on Skyrim. So he's become my friend now, and also one of my followers. So all you have to do is get him to follow you, and castle, when you trade you weapons, just grab the axe. The That's exactly what I'd imagined. I know, Serana. Don't I take you to some lovely dates? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> hello. You look like you could do with a ripe apple, or a tomato, cabbage, or, or leek. No, I'm alright. But I'll take this anyway. There's Atar, and he's wielding that giant axe. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. A lot of people have the same voices in this game. It's like the same guy in, in um, White Run who says the same thing to me. Follow me, I need your help. Looks like you got someone already. Alright, well, Serana, I kind of got to let you go right now. What do you need? Oh, what is it? Well, kind of have to break up with you for a minute. I'll be with the Dawn Guard if you need me. Alright, take it easy, Serana. I'll have you back soon. All right, Atar, you need to follow me. Now. The castle dower done. Let's not waste any time. Yes. Now that he's following me, all you got to do is um, Let's press A going. on him again. 
And then you have to... I need to trade some things What do you, you need to take? I need to take your axe. Alright, there we go. The headman's axe. The base damage for me is 112. Weight 11 and the value is 15. It's a very cheap axe. But the damage is really high. The reason why the damage is high, I'll get to in a minute, is because of my perks. And a few other things that I've actually enchanted, which I'll get to in a sec. So you just take the axe of him. And that's it. Let's Come with go. me, Yata. Let's go. No, I don't want an apple jala, please. Now what I'm going to do is give you guys a quick little demonstration of the axe. But I'm also going to give you guys a, a little um, showcase of my, my specs and uh, various other things. If you come across any storm cloaks, got one for me, huh? They did the same to my brother in Whiterun. Alright, Jala. Don't worry, I will. Serana! Let's get you back now. Do you need something? Come with me! Not until you get rid of whoever your other friend is. Okay. <laughs> That's fine with me. Atal, you have to go. What? You gotta go. Let's get going. No, you gotta go. I'm heading home if you need me. I don't. It's alright. I already got what I wanted of you. Alright, Serana, come on. You're back with me now. What now? Come Whenever with me. Ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Follow me. Alright, you guys. So, we have the... Um, let's go to the weapons section. And we will find the Headman's Axe, which I've equipped now. Now, there's a reason why my damage from base damage is at 112. It's such a high. Number one, if I go to my skills, and I will switch all the way to my two-handed weaponry. First of all... I put five points in Barbarian. That's the main essential there. So my two-handed weapons do twice as much damage. Um, I also have Champion Stance. So my power attacks with two-handed weapons cost 25% of the stamina now. Um, I also have a chance to decapitate enemies with Devastating Blow. Critical Hit Charge so I can ram into them and you know blow their heads off. And Sweep. So if I, if I do have you know quite a swarm of enemies, I can take them down by one quick squeak. sweep. Sweep. <laughs> And not only that, I will show my apparel which I've enchanted. Number one, if I go to my Daedra Gonglets, um, my two handed attacks do 40% damage. And then with the gold ring, I do an additional 40% damage with two handed. And then I also have a silver, ne silver necklace which does an extra additional 40% of damage. So, as you can see, there is a massive boost there for my two handed weaponry. And I'm going to give you guys a quick little show of what I can do with it. So we're going to go execute some people. But as you can see, it is very massive. Um, even, it won't even fit in the screen. I mean, look at this. Even when my character's wielding it in third person, it it's pretty big. But anyways, let's take our first charge against a uh, lovely innocent, innocent civilian. There we go. Wow, he's a very understanding guard. Just die! Okay, well he can pretty much take it. What about you? Watch it! No! Okay, well I guess everyone here just is perfectly fine with me attacking them, I guess. Be careful. What a good sport! What are you oh snap! Oh. Where'd you come from? Oh, he saw that. I guess I gotta kill him. And I have an arrow stuck in my head. Oh snap! Damn right, that was teamwork. All right, you guys. Well, that was pretty much it. Um, that's the damage you can do if you have those extra perks, remember, that I have at 112 base damage, but it could be different for you guys at home. Um, what the- Where'd you come from? Oh god! I'm trying to end the video here, my friend! Alright, well he's dead. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, pretty much demonstrated how you can obtain the, um, Headman's Axe. It's a pretty good weapon, and as you can see, it is very devastating as well. 
Um, and that's pretty much it. If this video did help you guys out and did find it entertaining, please like and subscribe to me. And stay tuned for more from Skyrim and many more videos, alright? Anyways, take it easy. Peace out.